Hi guys, I'm going to do computer practice N6 uh, question paper 2022. I'm going to focus on duration of stay and uh, in days and duration of stay in weeks. Uh, how to calculate days and how to calculate the weeks. But the most key thing, you need to have the arrival date somewhere there. You must find it because some students, they focus here and they say, no, we don't know how to calculate it because they don't look at the spreadsheet that there is an arrival date somewhere there, sitting there. And also I'm going to add the total cost per room per night or per day and, and, and then total for all the days the customer arrived on my sampled spreadsheet. So I'm going to move to my sample spreadsheet. Actually, this spreadsheet is similar to the one for computer practice and six students and, and computer practice. And, uh, and computer practice N6 student and computerized financial systems N6 student. So you can share with uh, some of your fellow students. Okay, guys, here's my short version of the of that uh, spreadsheet. It can look long, it can have many customers. I'm just, I just need to demonstrate how to calculate it. You, you can do the rest. Okay, as you can see here, I've got my arrival date, I've got my departure date. There are the dates and I've got obviously clients and how much it costs per day at the hotel and i've added a column of total because like you can use this anyhow so let us calculate for you to calculate uh duration of stay in days it's simple it's going to be equal sign it's going to be the date the person departed minus the date the person arrived at the hotel see remember departure minus arrival and then you press enter key it gives you 30. now we need to use the same formula and approach across the whole spreadsheet because let's say you've got 20 customers you cannot use the fill down because it's going to give you all all these figures that are, are, are formula it it, it rejects the formula so what you're gonna do you come to the first one you double click so that it displays the original formula because we are looking for this area here, we're going to apply this formula across. We, we need to know the location of that, that, that area. The location of this cell is D. Is D what? Is D3. If I move this here, if I move it, I move this, it is D3. So as you can see here, it says D3. So the, 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 the arrival is the common denominator so we are going to use absolute cell referencing by putting a dollar sign at the beginning and a dollar sign at the end of the d it means what we are referencing this cell right here so that it applies across our formula and then after that obviously the answer is still going to be the same for the first one and then we do fill down function to calculate the rest as you can see, these other ones appear like this because there's no, there's nothing here. So I, I can delete that. But you can see it calculated that if you double click there, you can see the D3 with dollar signs, it is being referenced across. So cell referencing is very important because sometimes the question paper requests you to print formulas. They want to see these formulas like this. And then to calculate in weeks, it's easy because uh, a week's got seven days, so you're gonna do equal sign uh, days divide by uh, days divide by seven. Press enter, so it's gonna be four weeks for 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 John, and then six weeks for Peter. And then moving to obviously the total, the total is always calculated by days because you can say it says hotel per day. If it says hotel per week, we're going to multiply by week, but it says hotel per day. So you're going to be equal sign hotel per day, multiply by, multiply by duration of stay in days. Then you press enter, it's giving 16,000 for the first guy, and then do the fill down function, it gives you 30,800 for the next guy. So basically that's how you calculate duration of stay in days and weeks using a arrival and departure and dividing by seven for uh, for the weeks and then also using absolute cell referencing for the awkwardly located arrival date thank you for watching share this with your fellow students because you could be giving them extra 
10 12 marks during the examination because definitely what some of this is a 90 percent chance that some of this question you're going to find in examination thanks for watching bye bye until the next video